Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. All right. Thank you for um, all of your uh, contributions also. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So we got some deception here. Holding on the four of pentacles. Holding on for dear life. You know, maybe now you have, you have to live on the outskirts or you're in the outskirts or someone you're dealing with. They have to live on the outskirts now. Um, holding on to your position in life or holding on to your money, trying to maintain your wealth here, um, being stingy, not letting one dollar go by, um, not letting people in on, you know, in your heart. Also, you closed off to love. This could be. That you left a toxic drama filled relationship maybe with somebody who was promiscuous was an entertainer performer exotic dancer this could be you um someone's not letting you in because maybe they know your past they're untrusting of this two of cups you or someone else wants reconciliation could be dealing with the cancer this would be first deacon so this would be early june um, excuse me late june um so you could be dealing with somebody who wants reconciliation or somebody wants you to take them back or let's look this over or, you know, it's best for us to be together is what someone is saying here. Forgive me. Somebody is saying that the relationship is mutually beneficial. Why not stay together? Could be you saying this, Sag. Seven of Wands, somebody's putting up defenses. They don't want this anymore. Someone is um, protecting themselves, being proactive. I heard talking to other people. Could be the Emperor. Somebody's talking to maybe an older gentleman. Um, or someone's talking to somebody. Someone's trying to get the attention of. It's, it's hard to maintain this person's attention also, Sag. It's hard to get this person's attention and maintain it. The emperor. Um, this person could be talking to you less and less. You know, they don't want to talk because it turns into argument, disagreement, disruption. You, you're also trying to find out what they're doing or who they're with. You know, who they're spending time with. Who their other option is. Uh, if they're in love with this person. You have five of swords. You're trying to figure out, you know, um, your competition. Maybe so that you can beat out the competition or someone's trying to do this in regards to you. Let's see. The Ace of Swords, yeah, you're trying to figure out what is the distraction? Why can't this person come towards you? Or why won't they put their sights on you or set their sights on you or the relationship? Or why they aren't choosing you? You're trying to figure out how you can disrupt. somebody does this with you over and over again they kind of close they close down to love and then they want to work on it with somebody else they walk away this could be same-sex connection if it's not then it's like um they close off to love with you then they try to build something else with someone else yeah with this high priest somebody stuck on somebody else somewhere else <sighs> um i don't think so if you're chasing after someone, they're chasing after someone and that other someone is not paying any attention to your person and whomever they're chasing after, they may already have somebody. So it's like a four party situation, you know, your, your person's chasing someone and then, you know, you're chasing your person, they're chasing after someone and then so it's like five party then you're this person may even have somebody so it's just like you know um this is ongoing it's, and it just keeps happening it's a cycle it's a negative karmic cycle that needs to be broken um you're trying to get someone to choose you or vice versa someone's trying to get somebody to choose trying to get you to choose them Wherever you fit in, this card wants to come. Yeah, the lovers. There's definitely somebody that has come in between your love relationship with your person, and your person could have their sights on this new person or the old person or however. 
Let's see what is going on here. We'll pull a few cards. What's happening for the Mean Girl Club? So it's like there could even be some online stalk stalking or um, trying to figure out who. So I could feel like they are with, they're an intellectual and they're with an idiot. Love sick over you can't get out of bed. Somebody just wants to hook up on a weekend. There it could be an energy of someone being jealous of you because you're book smart. Um, okay. Somebody's not willing to fix the marriage or the connection. There's a yes and then there's a no. Someone is just in need of therapy. Someone doesn't believe in a relationship because somebody is you know, they get around town whore. Somebody's lying to everybody. Just lies, lies, lies. So, someone's saying just apologize, you know, so that you can move forward. This is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you for being here. Many blessings to you. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care.